fiddling with my nine-inch Bakelite bush. <laughs> <laughs> and I came across an old black and white warmer bear, the guy that makes you all nostalgic for Geraldo and Pounder Day. It starred Dame Celia Mold Strangler and aging juvenile Binky Huckaway. And the Sinai Court was set in a wartime hospital. <laughs> The captain's in there, miss. Set in bed along behind the screen. Don't stay too long, you'll tire him out. Thank you, Doctor. Charles! <laughs> You've come, Fiona. <laughs> I had to come. I knew you would. I knew you knew I would. <laughs> I knew. I always knew, and yet I was uncertain. <laughs> Lip bitingly, stomach turningly, heart flutteringly, eyebrow raisingly, shoulder shraggingly uncertain, but still somehow sure. And you, Fiona? I was sure too. Cheek tremblingly, teeth gritted, a dog in the mangerly, utterly, utterly sure. And yet, <laughs> somehow uncertain. I know. I know you know. I know you know, I know. Yes, I know. You see, that's the wonderful thing about us. It's all unspoken. Are they... Are they looking after you in here, Charles? Yes. The swelling's gone down. My dear, does it, does it still hurt? Only when you poke it with your umbrella like that. <laughs> Fiona, can you keep a stiff upper? Not as well as you can, Charles. Oh, right, me brave old girl. Look! It's not a pretty sight, is it? Fiona, I've asked them to remove it. Why, Charles, why? It's no good to me. I want them to take it away. I'd rather not have it at all than have it like this. Oh. With your help, I can manage without it. I'll do what I can, Charles. Oh, it's cold, Fiona, cold. Do you understand? Do you understand? You understand? I understand, Charles. There's nothing worse than a cold, hot water bottle. 